South Africa, USA, Turkey, Israel, Nepal, Morocco, United Kingdom, China, Thailand, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Sweden, Denmark, South Korea, Singapore, Cambodia, Vietnam, Germany, Netherlands, Egypt, Brazil, Australia, Mexico, Taiwan, Spain, France, Czech Republic, Jordan, Greece, Italy, Switzerland, New Zealand, and Hawaii. Wow, it's exciting to be here tonight. This has been a university degree that is more than 14 years in the making. <laughs> yeah. I've always been a little slow. Just ask my friends. But for someone who never planned to go to a college or university, this is an exciting day. I'd gone straight to work after high school and I didn't believe that education had any future for me. Within a few years, I was already self-employed, and I thought for sure then I really didn't have anything to do with the education world. But Jesus was about to rock my world. I came to a personal faith in Christ, and a brand new hunger was kicked off in my life. I became thirsty for knowledge, especially the knowledge of God. I considered going to a Bible college, went to a weekend event that they were having at one time, but I desired a little more action-oriented approach. I found YWAM, and I went to a DTS in Africa aboard the MV, MV Anastasis. Later, in a personal quest to know more of the Bible, I went through the long nine months of Bible study here on the Kona campus in the School of Biblical Studies, and that set this degree well underway. For those who believe that to follow Christ you must leave your brain at the door, they couldn't be more wrong. It was Jesus who drove me into education and fueled this real deep hunger for more. One time I was on a, a bus journey across Pakistan. A middle-aged Pakistani man spoke excellent English, came and sat beside me, which was actually a nuisance at the time because I was exhausted after coming out of Afghanistan. But anyway we struck up one of the most amazing conversations. He commented to me how he didn't really understand his country anymore. It seemed a bit divided between the young and the old, that the young were just an MTV generation. They were excited about all the things coming up uh, and, and kind of caught up in the, the young, young scene. Well, the old were reacting to the perceived sins of the youth and they wanted to uh, push morality on them or, or cram it down their throats and he didn't know where he fit in the middle of this uh, perceived struggle. And man, this kicked off an interesting discussion because I began to explain to him that in my understanding, God has always wanted to change us from the inside out and not from the outside in. And he was fascinated when I mentioned that. I was explaining how the prophets Isaiah and Jeremiah would be standing in Jerusalem proclaiming that a day is coming when God's going to write His laws on our hearts and on our minds, and we would be His people. Jumping forward 700 years in history from those prophets, you'd have Jesus standing on the Temple Mount saying, destroy this temple and in three days I'll raise it up again. Well, what temple was God looking for? He was looking for one that lived in people. Right then, the two guys sitting in front of us in, in the bus turned around and they said, you seem to know a lot about the Bible compared to the average person. What was the nature of your work in Afghanistan? I wisely distracted the conversation. But I caught on the fact that they said the average person and I, I, I took issue with that because I said, you don't understand, I am the average person. It's just that Jesus has kicked off a hunger in my life to begin to know and learn more. And they said, no, the average person doesn't ask these kinds of questions. I said, yes, they do. I'm the average person, and I'm asking. So that search has led me to this degree in Christian ministries. Now I find myself working alongside people from the arts and the entertainment field really, really enjoy working with them. 
being part of some of the things we do. But thinking about a degree in Christian ministries and working in arts and entertainment, uh, just a few weeks ago I ran into a quote by Billy Graham in his book, Just As I Am. And just to quickly paraphrase that, that Billy Graham was running a campaign in California that was so successful they kept extending it week after week. And uh, Billy had exhausted himself of all kinds of illustrations, all his uh, anecdotes and illustrations. And a non-Christian movie star came to him and said, Billy, don't worry about it. You can't compete with us in entertainment. We know all the ropes. But if you get up there and preach the word, I'll be on hand every night. Wow. And that story affirms to me the power of God's word and the need for his word in the middle of today's society. So tonight it's an honor to receive this degree in Christian Ministries. Thank you very much, Lauren. I want to say a shout out to Howard Balmstad for the foundation Amen. of such a creative Amen. university. Woo! God bless you.